Hello all and welcome to the video where we go through some of the most common error messages in Stata. In Stata error messages can be seen on the output window as red and also the comments that cause the error messages show as red in the comment list on the left. There are plenty of different error messages in Stata at least tens if not hundreds nonetheless in practice a few of them repeatedly pop up especially at the beginning of the stata career in addition stata does not tolerate any typos that often are the reason for the error messages thus if stata gives you an error message always check first that your comment variable names or anything else do not have any typos. Let's use the Stata Auto dataset to get a few error messages. One of the most common error messages is command is unrecognized. Stata gives that if the command has a typo, even one character is enough. For instance, if you write command sun mpg, not some mpg with an m, but with an n, Stata gives an error message that command sun is unrecognized. Using the correct command sum mpg, we would have got descriptive statistics for the variable mpg miles per gallon. Another a bit similar error message is variable not found. If there is no such a variable in the dataset that we refer to, Stata gives you this error message. For example, if we write command sum mpk instead of mpg and press enter, Stata gives an error message that variable mpk not found. Usually, if not always, both of command is unrecognized and variable not found error messages are caused by a typo. So if you get one of these error messages, check your command for typos. A slightly more complicated but also a very common error message is invalid syntax. As the message implies, the syntax, which is the structure of the command, is now wrong. For example, if we write an if statement, let's use if foreign as an example incorrectly with one equal sign instead of two equal signs and press enter. Stata gives an error message invalid syntax. This is because the syntax is wrong. If you use equal signs in if statements, you have to use two equal signs because Stata intentionally makes a difference between referring to a value and defining a value. In any case, when we use two EQL signs, we get descriptive statistics for the variable mbg for the observations where the value of foreign is 1, which means that cars are made outside the USA. In the same category is the error message invalid name, which also implies that there is something wrong in the command. You get this message if you try to give a variable a wrong type of name. However, the most common way to get this error message is to exclude if from a conditional statement. Now Stata gives an error message that these two equal signs are an invalid name, which they are. Thus, you have to check the syntax whenever Stata gives you this error message. Another way to get this error message is to give a variable a name that is not accepted by Stata. For example, variable names cannot have special characters or spaces and they cannot begin with a number. For instance, variable 1 is a valid name, but one variable is not. The only special character that is allowed in a variable name is the underscore. Variable names also can't be too long. The maximum length is 32 characters. 
No observations is another quite common error message. Very simply, this means that there are no observations. Stata gives this if you try to run regressions that include a string variable. For instance, this dataset has the variable make, which contains the maker of the car and the car model. If you include this variable into a regression function, Stata gives the error message no observations. Moreover, let's make a variable called test and define that as an empty column. If we accidentally use this empty variable in regression, we get the same error message, no observations. This may happen when you have done something wrong when processing the data. Hence, if you get this error message, check that there is no empty variable included in your set of variables. For instance, you can easily check this in the browse window. An empty variable is a column of black points. In addition, a numeric variable should not have red observations. In that case, Stata interprets it as a string variable. The typical reason for this is that there are some observations in the variable that are not numbers. This happens very often because missing observations are frequently reported as NAs or points or hyphens in different datasets. When data is imported, Stata understands only an empty cell as a missing numeric observation. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, Stata has hundreds of error messages, but some of them are much more common than others. We will continue discussing most common error messages in a second video. Until next time, have fun working with Stata.